What's up, y'all? This is Rockland. Welcome back to Rockland Reacts. This is the channel where I look at the reaction, or I do a reaction of some of the videos that you guys loved and um, I never saw before, so we all get to enjoy it. And it's like you guys get to enjoy it for the first time over again, and I get to enjoy it for the first time, period. So today we are watching, um, we are watching, what's his name? Louis C.K. He is too old for drugs. This was a, a video that was suggested by the Kakunj. K-O-C-K-U-N-G-E Thank you for um, being a subscriber And thanks for suggesting the video So we are going to get right into it But before we do I would just like to ask you guys To make sure that you like and subscribe And leave suggestions down in the comment section So I'll be able to see More videos That you guys have loved In your present and past. All right, so this is going to be Louis C.K. live at the Beacon Theater. Let me make myself larger. All right, here we go. Uh, too old for drugs. Starting now. I think I got everything right. Okay, I do. All right. I don't like when I was a teenager. I hated all that time. I hated being a teenager. And then I discovered drugs. <laughs> and then that's all I gave a shit about. I don't know how I'm going to tell my kids. How the fuck do you compete with that? How do you take a miserable person with no control over their lives and tell them with a straight face, oh, you can't do drugs. You can't do that, baby. All drugs are, are a perfect solution to every problem you have right now. How do, you, how do you beat that? Drugs are so fucking good that they'll ruin your life. I mean, that's how good they are. I can't do drugs now because I'm 44 and I can't hook it up. I can't make that happen. If you're 44 and you want to get a high, you got to hurt your back. That's pretty much the only option you have. <laughs> hurt your back, get some Percocet, and then you go, I'm gonna get a babysitter and take three at a diner. Like just sad, I'm a little drowsy, woo! I never really could have like a, I, I, I wish I was a drunk like that. I love romantically the idea of being a real drunk in my bathrobe all day. <laughs> Everybody who loves me is always crying. He's destroying himself. I can't watch anymore. <laughs> Showing up at my kid's school play halfway through. You show who you are, baby. <laughs> I wish I could be that guy. But I can't drink because I just get tired. I go to sleep. <laughs> I don't know how people drink and then do shit. <laughs> like when I see movies or TV shows where there's people in an office having a power meeting and they're clink, clink, they're making a drink in the daylight with a tie on. Well, Senator, hope you play ball with us in this construction deal, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll see what's in it for me. <laughs> how is the next scene not all those people just lying on the floor like a... Oh, I can't believe I drank whiskey at noon. <laughs> I can't smoke pot because it's the same thing. I'm too old for it. Sometimes young people come up to me after shows. Hey, do you want to smoke some pot? I'm like, can I get my portion to smoke without you alone later? Because <laughs> I don't want to stand in a parking lot with some 20 year olds. <laughs> Last time I got a high, I was in Kansas City and I got high because I was in Kansas City and it was shitty. <laughs> So after the show, so these kids that worked at the club, they're like, you want to smoke some pot? I'm like, yes. So I'm standing in a parking lot with these kids, like 20 years old, and we're smoking a joint. And I'm taking huge hits, because I had no idea. I didn't know they'd been working on this shit like it's the cure for cancer. I didn't understand <laughs> the fucking technology that's gone into making pot so powerful. Because when I was a kid, you could just smoke a joint for a while. Now you take two hits and you go insane. <laughs> it's not doable anymore. And I, and I was taking big hits, like big 1970s jean jacket bad company hits. <laughs> Here come the jesters, one, two, three. <laughs> it's all part of my fantasy. And I'm like, yeah. And even the kid with the wooden hole of no ear, the absence of flesh in his ear with the wood, I don't know what that is. Even he was like, that, you should be careful, that's a lot of pot. That's very strong marijuana. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Running with the devil, just 
fucking, and in about 10 seconds, everything just boom, boom. And I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> this is an ordeal now. I'm not gonna feel okay for a very long time. And everybody's just standing around and talking, and I'm hoping, like I'm really hoping, that I look like this. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that I was just scanning insanely. <laughs> I was actually counting, like, look at her for five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. Switch to him. Five, four, three, two. No, no, Randomize. Don't go in the same direction. Five, four, three. Nod your head. That looks like you're listening if you nod yeah. your head. Ha ha ha! Me, 100%. But I try to eat, man. I hate it. And at one point I realized I need to get out of here because the air is hitting my arm weirdly and they can tell. <laughs> They totally know <laughs> that I'm not handling the way air is touching my arm right now. <laughs> Why am I doing that with my hand? That's weird to do that with your hand. <laughs> Nobody stands like this. Nobody stands like this. Just fucking... No, that's also... That's weird, too. That's crazy. Just, I wish I could see them. Oh, shit. I gotta go. But I didn't know how to leave. Because I had this dilemma. We're all standing in a perfect circle, facing each other. And I thought, it's gonna be insane if I just turn my, I'm one person with my back now. Do I just back away like this and hope that they fill in? And then I thought, no, say something. Say something out loud to them that smooths the transition of you leaving. Okay, what do I say? Pick a thing to say, goodbye. That's a, that's a nightmare. That's just goodbye. That's not even, that's just noises. Finally, I walked away and I said, I'm leaving! And I, I know it was that bad because they all went, oh, shit, okay. All right. Whoa. I was like, I'll never see those people again as long as I live. And then I had to get in the car. I forgot that I had rented a car and I have to drive back to the hotel. Oh, no. And I'm driving on this highway in Missouri. And at one point I realized, I think it's been about 25 minutes since I looked out the front window of this car. <laughs> I've just been dealing with shit directly in. Oh, uh, shit. There's a whole spectrum of responsibility out here. I'm supposed to take part in this. And then at one point, I remember I was at a drive-thru and I was terrified because there's a lady sticking her head out a window and she's mad. She's going, sir, sir. And I just kept saying, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I had the window closed. I had no fucking idea. What part of the transaction am I? Did I pay yet? Have I ordered? Did I, have I been sitting here for 40 minutes just eating? <laughs> At the window and I ate the paper and everything? <laughs> Sir! And I just went, I know, I don't want it! And I just fucking bolted. <laughs> so I can't do that anymore. Stop, stop, stop. That looks like it's gonna be funny. Just me. Okay, y'all, that was Louis C.K. and why he can't do drugs or whatever. I forgot the name of it that quick. But yeah, it sounds like he goes through that same exact thing that happens to me when I get high. So that's why I hate being high. I got high one time recently and and that was the first time in about I would say maybe 18 years, <laughs> and when I did get high, I was like, yep, I remember why I stopped getting high, because I hate this feeling, and my my only 
my only thought the whole time, well, the only thought that I can remember because I'll be having so many thoughts at the same time. The only thought that I can remember is when is this going to wear off? Please wear off, please. Well, anyway, y'all don't want to hear about that. But um, thanks again for um, checking out Rockland Reacts. My name is Rockland. Um, you can like and subscribe and leave a comment down in the comment section and let me know which videos you want me to watch next. Also, I do have that new Patreon page up. Y'all can see it down in the, um, it should be around here or somewhere you can um join me on patreon that way i can upload all the videos that uh gets banned and i can also watch like entire entire comedy routine specials so that way um i don't have to cut it and and watch out for being demonetized but anyway thanks a lot y'all and i will see you next time peace out